Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing three easy instant pot recipes with you guys. So the reason I said instant pot with quotations is because I do not have the instant pot brand. I have the Kasori brand. I've never had an instant pot. Just comparing it to watching other people use their instant pot brand it's very similar I'm not sure of anything that's different on them they seem to have all of the same functions so I'm gonna leave the one that I have in the description box down below you can get it on Amazon but before we hop into the video let me tell you guys why I love the pressure cooker so much so it's one of those things that you can do anything in that you can do on a stove pretty much um, and it's also good for last minute throw together dinners. Let's say you forget to take your meat out earlier that day. You get home, it's completely frozen. What do you do? You can just throw it in your pressure cooker and it's done within minutes. So that's another plus about it. And the third thing is that you don't have to heat up your kitchen. We are like dead summer right now. It is extremely hot. Our AC is nonstop running and it just seems like we can't keep the house cooled off enough so we've been avoiding using the stove like i said i'm going to be sharing three recipes you can alter these to your liking you can adjust the quantity to the size of your family so if you have a larger family and by all means you can go ahead and double or triple these recipes and in this video i will also have screenshots on the screen so you guys can just take a screenshot save it for later if you want to save any of the recipes that's just a quick easy way for you to get the recipe without having to click on a link or write it down you can just take a screenshot so i'll have this pop up anyways i wanted to get on here do this intro but now that i've said all that let's go ahead and get into these recipes this first one is a potato soup now potato soup is more of a winter meal but honestly i can eat it all year round it actually ended up raining on the day that i made this so it was perfect speaking of rain it is actually raining right now as i'm recording this voiceover we have had tons of rain here lately so anyways if you hear that in the background that's what that is as i stated in my intro feel free to take a screenshot of these recipes to have for later so we're gonna start with some potatoes. I've got my three cups of chicken broth. I did make my own chicken broth and this is the kind that I use. You can find this at Sam's. It's chicken base that you just mix with water and mix chicken broth. So we have that and then we have some minced garlic. I don't have any fresh garlic. And then we're gonna be using one can cream of chicken. Also, you'll need one medium onion chopped, but we are gonna use what we have left of this one. I have some flour and some milk, and then, as always, salt and pepper to taste. And we're also gonna be using just a little bit of butter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and chop up my onion. And we're gonna go ahead and put that into the pressure cooker with the butter and the garlic. And this step is optional. It just gives it more flavor if you can do this step. So next I'm gonna go ahead and chop my potatoes and I'm doing these in larger chunks. And if you notice that I'm cutting kind of weird, it's because my potatoes kept suctioning to the knife and I was having to literally pull them off. But anyway, so I'm just giving these a chop and we are going to go ahead and pour in our chicken broth. I should have put the potatoes in first because I had to slowly put my potatoes in. It was splashing and it was just a hot mess. So next time I'll put my potatoes in first and then my liquids. So I've added in my chicken broth. I'm going to add in the cream of chicken. I'm going to add in some salt and pepper to taste. Just do however much you want of this. So now that we have everything in there, we are going to give this a stir, place our lid on, make sure the valve is sealed, and then we're going to cook this on high for 10 minutes. And 
and then once it was done I let it natural release I went ahead and gave it a stir and then we're gonna do the flour and milk mixture and pour that in so in a bowl I am just pouring in my cup of milk with my flour and we're gonna give that a whisk and pour that into the soup and that's what's gonna thicken all of those juices After that your soup is pretty much done I topped mine with some shredded cheddar cheese some bacon bits and some green onion next up we're gonna make some beef and broccoli this was really really good So back there in the back, I've got some beef broth, some soy sauce. I'm also gonna be using some brown sugar, a little bit of sesame oil. We've got some minced garlic and some olive oil and some steak. And I also have some cornstarch set to the side. So when it's done, I will mix it with some water and that will be our thickening agent and some sesame seeds for garnish. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna cut my steak into cubes you can do this in strips or cubes. I just prefer to do it in cubes. And my steak is frozen. It's maybe 20% thawed. So as I stated in my intro, this is a really good thing about cooking in the Instant Pot is if you forget to take meat out earlier that day and you need to get some dinner on the table, no worries. You can have it done really quick in your Instant Pot. Another thing is that this steak was so tender. So I wasn't sure how tender it was gonna be since it was gonna be cooking fast from frozen, but it turned out to be really tender and delicious. So the first thing I'm doing is setting my pressure cooker to the saute mode. I'm gonna drizzle my olive oil and my garlic. And we're just gonna let that go for one minute And then next we are going to go ahead and pour our steak in. I'm going to let that brown for about three to five minutes. Once I let that brown for about three to five minutes, I'm gonna put everything else in. We're gonna place the lid on, make sure the valve is sealed, and we're gonna cook this on high pressure for 10 minutes. In the meantime, I am gonna pop one of these steamable broccoli bags into the microwave for about five minutes, and then once it's done, we will pour that in with our beef. You don't wanna do the broccoli in your pressure cooker because it may turn to mush, so that's why I'm doing that separately. So once the beef is done, you are gonna take your cornstarch and your water and just swish that around, and then we're just gonna pour that in with the beef and that's what's gonna thicken it up. Keep in mind that you can add more if you want it to be thicker.
And then the last thing you want to do is just top it with some sesame seeds and we served it on rice. Alright, for the last recipe we are going to be doing steak once again except we are going to be doing some steak sandwiches. So we have our steaks, we've got our cup of beef broth, I've got a little bit of teriyaki sauce back there in the back in that little cup. I've got some minced garlic I'm going to be using, also some olive oil, some black pepper, I've got a medium onion, and also some green bell pepper that we had already chopped and in the freezer. If you watch my previous cooking videos, you know that we like to chop our produce ahead of time and store it in the freezer so that all we have to do is pull it out. It just makes life a little bit easier. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trim the fat away from my steak. We didn't want fat on our sandwiches. And you could also go ahead and cut these into strips if you want to, but this steak was about 90% frozen still and it was a little bit hard for me to cut into strips. So I went ahead and placed it into the pressure cooker whole and then I just cut it whenever it was done. First thing I'm doing is drizzling some olive oil and we are going to put in our garlic. We're going to let that saute for about a minute. All right and then next up I'm going to go ahead and place in my steaks. I'm going to let those brown on both sides for a couple of minutes each just to get some added extra flavor. So while that's browning I'm going to take and slice up my onion and then we're going to put that on top of the steaks along with the bell pepper. We're gonna pour in the beef broth, our teriyaki sauce, a little bit of black pepper, and we're just gonna swish that around just to get everything nice and mixed. And then we're gonna place the lid on. We're gonna cook this at high pressure for 15 minutes. Of course, if your steaks aren't frozen like mine are, you can probably adjust the time down to 10 minutes, maybe even less. So this is what it looked like. Like I said, I went ahead and I cut it into strips and then I placed it back into the juice with the peppers and onions just so that it didn't dry out. These are the hoagie rolls that we're going to be using. These are Pepperidge Farm. I found these at Walmart and I'm just taking some of the steak with peppers and onions, placing that onto my roll. I'm going to top it with some provolone cheese and that is it for these sandwiches. We made some french fries in the air fryer and that was dinner. It was so good. Another hit. If you guys make any of these recipes, please feel free to tag me over on Instagram. I would love to see. That is going to be it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I normally do crock pot videos, but I've gotten so many requests from you guys to do instant pot. And I think another high request right now is air fryer. So I may be doing an air fryer video. Um, but anyways, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I know it's not my usual crock pot, but like I said, I was taking a break and it had been highly requested. So I wanted to definitely do this video for you guys. Also, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more of my content, it's completely free to do. It just lets YouTube know that you want to see more of my videos. So every time I post a brand new video, YouTube will put it into your subscription feed. Make sure when you hit that subscribe button to also hit the notification bell and that will notify you every single time I post. I upload brand new videos every single Wednesday and Sunday. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.